If it were any more convenient, they'd be cooking your order right in front of your face. Cluster Truck is expanding, and joining us to talk about it is co-founder and CEO Chris Baggett. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. You've been in our kitchen, and in a minute here, you're going to give us a tour of your new kitchen. But for people who aren't familiar, explain the Cluster Truck concept. Sure. So Cluster Truck is a delivery-only kitchen. Traditionally, we have no front of house, no tables, no chairs, no waiters or waitresses. People order online and we deliver to them usually in about 25 minutes. Um, and uh, we have a very wide variety, over 90 items, everything from Asian food, to Mexican food, to pizzas, burgers, whatever you want to eat, vegetarian. So, so, so you got a group of coworkers and they all want something different. They can still just get it all a cluster truck and then socially distance and enjoy some delicious food, right? Yeah, it's really been cool with COVID, even people eating at home where one child wants chicken fingers, another child wants a, a pizza, mom wants pad thai, dad wants a cheeseburger. You know, people love running the menu even at home. So that's a ghost kitchen. Is that the phrase that you use in your industry? Um, we're a delivery only restaurant. Okay. We're a little bit different than a ghost kitchen. So what is a ghost kitchen then for people who don't know that? So basically ghost kitchens use third party delivery companies like DoorDash. Uh, okay. They use restaurant recipes. They're like multi concept individual kitchens. Gotcha. It's a terrible business model. Okay. <laughs> right. Appreciate the honesty on that. So what talk to me about this partnership you have we have with Kroger. Yeah, so that's really exciting. I'm not sure how much you can see in the background here, but um, we've actually built our kitchen inside of Kroger. Kroger has a lot of, you know, twenty eight hundred kitchens that are relatively underutilized and um being able to leverage partnership with Cluster Truck, we can take better use of those and use them as our delivery only kitchen. So this is the first one we just opened in Fishers. We opened on Thursday. Uh, what's, what's the plan then for expansion? We're gonna be opening in, uh, in another month in, in Columbus, uh, Dublin, Ohio, which is a suburb of Columbus, and then continue marching these out across the country. And uh, so did you approach Kroger? Did Kroger approach you? Um, I actually approached Kroger, yeah. So you just cold call. so you just you cold call yeah so you just walk yeah. in there and and just like you would go to the uh, to the website or would you still go to the website first and just pick up? Yeah, everyone has to order on the app or online, so they can use their phone. They you know they can order from home and pick up, or a lot of people here and this is only the first couple of days have been ordering here and then having it delivered. Ah. So if you're out running errands and you're doing your grocery shopping, you can stop by, place your order to have it delivered at 6.30 or 7 o'clock tonight when you know you're going to be home and wanting to eat dinner. What are the key components to this business model working as well as it, as it does? Is it, is it the timing? Is it the algorithms? What is it? It is. We're primarily a software company. As I think you know, I'm the founder of Exact Target, which is now Salesforce in Indianapolis, Compendium, which was acquired by Oracle. So this is, this is really a software startup. And the key is the vertical integration that we control everything, right? There are drivers. We cook the food. We know everything that's going on, including the customer relationship and the customer service. You know, when you call somebody or you have a problem, we deal with it, right? If you call the third party people, I don't know who solves the problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, from what I'm hearing a lot, nobody is solving those particular problems. So exactly. since you have so many dishes that are available, such a wide, diverse variety, do you ha are, you, are you becoming known for a few of them? Yeah. Uh, like this is pad thai. It's probably one of our most popular items. Mm. Um, you know, we have a pretty broad Asian menu. Um, we have a pretty, you know, we we are very popular vegetarians. This is a spice chip people. And you notice everything is is made here. We're dicing these vegetables. We're spicing these chickpeas. Um, this is a buffalo chicken wrap. Oh, it's a breakfast burrito. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> That charred salsa right there, we make that in-house as well. Everything is made fresh here every day. This is a buffalo chicken wrap. And again, one of our most popular items. Yeah, this all looks fantastic. Shrimp tacos and, of course, you know, pizzas. Sure. Uh, so d does this, this business model, all the data, the algorithms, and the timing of everything, does that dictate what does go on the menu, or you don't let that limit you? So our key is because we control the drivers and the cooking of the food, we can time it based on how long the food's going to take to make and where the driver is. So by definition, our zones are only six minutes delivery. So we time it so when the driver is here, your food is done at the exact same time and the driver is off with the food. So the food is never more than six minutes old. So we don't have to think a lot about excuse me with my mask right we don't have to think a lot about designing food that will last 45 minutes right ah. 
Got it. Um, you know, because you're getting it as fast as if you were ordering in a restaurant. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm assuming, based on uh, the degree that, that I know you and your success, is that this is pretty much, this is a pilot program, and this, this partnership with Kroger is perfect because of uh, the, the number of locations they have and the number of locations you could potentially have. That's right. You know, we have the software and the cooking part figured out. The hard part for us was actually building kitchens, permitting, construction, um, and now if we can just roll into existing kitchens, for example, we just opened in Broad Ripple in an empty restaurant, right? And, you know, unfortunately, there's a lot of empty restaurants right, right now for the industry. But, you know, we're able to come in there and create jobs, you know, and, um, and, and take advantage of those empty spots. Ah, well, I appreciate your insight, your ingenuity, your delicious food. We'll put the link clustertruck.com on our website, indiestyle.tv. Chris, well, thanks I appreciate again. It. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye. Stay safe.